Hello Sheila, welcome back to Deep Pockets Forex. We'll be giving you our weekly Forex forecast. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button to get our weekly Forex updates. Before we see any more time, let's dive into the weekly Forex forecast. This is NZDCAD. For NZDCAD this past week, we focused that a down move from this level here. We say that we're expecting a movement down like this. And as you can see, this is a movement that has taken place. We got price moving just like this. And we say that after this down move, we'll be looking forward to getting an up move here. We say that we'll be looking forward to getting an up move here. And this is the movement that um, we had most interest in. So if um, you manage to get an entry around this level and trade this small down move well done right now we're looking for an up move only an up move right now from here if we get a corrective structure then a down move we'll wait for that to take place then we can be taking the up move so this down move here this small down move here is not a down move that we'll be interested in because it's small we we'll only wait for it to complete if at all we get a correction here then this down move we we'll wait for it to complete then next would we'll be right in this bigger wave that's what we're looking for and NZDCD. So as of now, our main focus is only the up move. On this chart, we have AUD and ZD. For AUD and ZD, this past week we had price at around this area. We had price at around this area, and we say that we're expecting this corrective structure to complete. Then we get a down move here, and we say that after we get this down move, we'll be looking forward for an up move here. Now, this up move, we can say that uh, any time from now we may get, be getting this big wave up the next thing that can happen here is just a slight correction like this or maybe some little manipulation here then we can be moving up or right from here we can get price moving like this we can get price moving like this so be ready for this up movement because this is an up move that we focused we say that we'll be expecting to get this corrective structure complete then we get a down move and then as you can see that's exactly what we got and then now we've started to get we've started getting this up move and that is what uh, you should be prepared for now if we get a down move here breaking this previous law or trying to test this previous law or, or just trying to uh or just this pair trying to be manipulative we will still be looking forward for an up move because this is an up move that we've been waiting for and um, if you know to trade this buy there is a buy that you should be looking forward to trading because it's expected to move all the way up to this level here that's AUD NZT. this is NZDJPY for NZDJPY you all know that this previous week we focused on a corrective structure to complete then we said we'll be expecting this movement this up move like this this impulse move breaking this previous high to around this area that's what we stated in our previous forecast and then we say that after this movement this up move will be expecting a drop now as you can see we've already gotten the movement up like this and then what's next now is this drop here and you can see that also the drop has started taking place so this next week we might get something like a correction here then continue lower or this impulse move might continue up to this area here then we can get a corrective structure like this then we can uh, move like this lower the other option that, that that we have here will give you this next week because uh, we cannot share it right now because it hasn't matured the moment we see that there's a possibility of that particular structure to form we'll be sharing it with you on the next week so make sure that you stick around our channel so that you get this updates on a weekly basis on this chart we have nzd usd now for nzd usd what we are getting here this is a movement we say that we're expecting a drop here we said we're expecting a drop here on nzd usd then this is a movement that we talked about this is a movement that we talked about this drop on nzd uh, usd nzd usd is expected to move right around this area to around this area here breaking this previous low and breaking this previous low up to around this area anywhere around the zone we can be looking forward uh, for a pivot here we can be looking forward for a pivot here that's what we're expecting according to our strategy we're expecting this movement to break this previous high that's what we're expecting on nzd usd now if some of you are interested in learning some of our best kept secrets in the inner circle best kept secrets of wave analysis make sure to contact us via our details provided in the description of this video to get more details on our packages this is CDJPY. For CDJPY, we say that we're expecting this corrective strategy to complete, then price would be continuing higher. We say that then price would be continuing higher. As you can see, that price is continuing higher like this. As soon as this up move is completed, we'll be sharing you our with you our update on CDJPY. But as of now, um, the structure is not yet clear, so you can just put this aside put CDJPY aside, then we can share with you our updated structure this next week. 
Now this is USDJPY. For USDJPY, most of you, you know that we've been focusing it right from this area and all the way up to this area here. And now you can see that this past weeks, we focused on a corrective structure here. We see that we're expecting a big corrective structure before price continues higher. And as you are seeing, that's exactly what we're getting. We got a down move here, then now we're getting an up move. We say that this up move would barely break this previous high. And then from here, this past week, we say that we're expecting a movement up here. And this is just a small movement that we're trading because this movement is expected to move like this before heading up. And that's the structure that we shared with you even before it Happen. We said we're expecting price to move like this and you can see that that's exactly what we're getting this next week We'll be expecting price uh, to complete this structure up to this area barely breaking this previous high then if uh, We manage to 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 get a sell entry right from here. We managed to get a sell entry right from here We'll be looking for an entry to be selling down We'll be looking for an entry to be selling down like that. That's what we're expecting on USDJP or if this this pair decides to move up like this breaking this previous high this is still a known structure in our team and we know how to um, how to act on that there is a known structure remember uh, in wave analysis we have uh, possible outcomes so looking at the structure here there's um, there's possibilities that the market can do this it can do this or it can do this right now the possibilities here as we have shared with you there's a possibility here that we might push up to this area then down and there's a possibility that we might be slightly breaking this previous high here then down and all that is all that is shared based on our strategy and um, the, the the options that are given by our strategy so as of now on usdjpy just keep in mind that if uh, we manage to get this price moving up to this area this is a movement that we're taking we're trading and we'll be exiting around this area and if it presents another opportunity for a sell we'll be selling all the way down slightly breaking this previous low according to our entry strategy now that's on usdjpy if you don't know how to trade this movement just uh, stay out of this trade stay out of it and only focus on pairs that you're able to trade this is GBP USD. Now for GBP USD this past week, you all know that we, we say that we're expecting corrective structure to complete then up move. Now that's exactly what we got. Looking into this structure, there is a movement that we got because we are getting a corrective structure. This is a development of a corrective structure and this is the 12 hour. This is the 12 hour and you all know that uh, looking into this as the 12 hour, there's just uh, there's a lot of compression here but if we go down to the 4 hour, if we go down to the 4 hour, you realize that uh, this for our chart it shows that this is a down move then we got a correction then a down move and all this is just a bigger corrective structure in the four hour so after this corrective structure is completed uh, we're expecting a movement up like this price to give one more extra move we're expecting price to uh, give something like this then down then another extra move breaking this previous high breaking this previous high and breaking this previous high that's what we're expecting on gbp usd that's a structure that we're expecting and you should expect that structure if you know how to uh look for a sell opportunity if we manage to get a corrective structure here you can be selling uh but just keep in mind this is just a small move i would rather wait for this buy for this buy here and trade it because it's better it would give you better risk to reward so that's what i advise you to wait for but if you know how to trade this small down move and it comes your entry strategy confirms it you can be looking for what to buying here i mean to selling here then buying here this is euro and zd now for euro and now for euro and zd we were talking about a corrective structure to complete this past week and then we say that we're expecting a drop now remember the tips that we share with you on a weekly basis one of the tips that we shared what did we say we said a corrective structure can um, advance it can advance it can uh, continue it can um, it can it can it can grow bigger and bigger now uh, on this pair we say that after this corrective structure is completed we're expecting a drop now you see we're still correcting here we're still getting a correction now this down move is still expected we're still expecting this down move this correction may delay but it but this down move it will follow through as soon as the corrective structure is completed so this down move we're still expecting it expectation is you were able to manage your trade here and if you manage to get a sell here and you get a down move here you should be able to uh, shift your stop loss to break even as soon as possible so that if we get this corrective structure moving like this then you can be taken out with some small profits or with break even then you can still look for a sell because this movement it's expected structure is showing that there's an expected movement here on 
euro and ZD. that's what we're hoping for we're hoping for a down move if we confirm our entry uh strategy to sell here we'll be selling all the way down all the way to around this area breaking this previous low that's what we're expecting on euro and ZD. this is usdchf now for usdchf this is what we said we say that there's an expected big correction here we said where there's an expected big correction here we're expecting price to move like this then continue all the way up from here we focus that this big wave up and we're expecting price to continue all the way up to this area but after the big correction has completed we're expecting something like this price to move like this then down breaking this previous low or this corrective structure may move up like this all the way uh close to this previous high then we can get a drop here then after we get this drop we can be looking forward for an up move or this correction might continue for a little while then we can still get the up move later but uh, this corrective structure is expected we're expecting this corrective structure to complete uh, then we can have price continue all the way up like this this is gbp nzd for gbp nzd this past week we focused at an up move like this we said after this corrective structure is completed we're expecting an up move like this now you need to be careful here you need to be careful because there's the, the, there's a possibility we might get an extra drop here based um, on the structure that we're getting here we might get a drop here then after we get this drop this is when we can be moving up from this area so be careful here if you're looking for a buy or if you're already in a buy make sure that if you're in some profits you're able to shift to break even or, or to just slighter profit after we get a decent move here after we get price moving something like this then you can be uh, safe as soon as we get this drop and if price continues up here like this because there's always a possibility to continue up so that you can enjoy all those profits that's on gbp and zd this is euro cd now on euro cd there's there's a slight change of structure here what we're expecting we're expecting to get uh, a bigger correction here and then continue higher but because of this impulse move there's just a slight change of structure here now what can happen here we can get an imp a corrective structure here like this then we can get another down move so uh, right now as of the, the the up move the continuation up to break this previous high it is not coming as of now because of change of structure so right now expect a corrective structure here then a drop that drop after we get this drop will be giving you an update on what's next based on that current structure now one thing you need to remember when you're trading the forex market you should always be fluid always be uh, ready to adjust to the structure that the market is 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 giving because structure changes all the time and you should be ready you should not be rigid on one structure while the structure that you see this week it may not be the structure that you see next week so as of us we are making sure that we are sharing with you updated structure on a weekly basis so that you are you should get those updates that's on euro cad we're expecting a corrective structure to complete then a drop here this is euro usd now we know, all know that for euro usd we've been focusing that we are expecting price to complete its movement up to around this area then after we we say we, then we say it after it completes its movement we'll be looking forward for a down move all the way down now that's what structure is given right now structure is um, going as forecasted and uh, we'll be looking forward for a corrective structure here then more down here and this corrective structure can just be a small correction then down like this uh, to complete the forecast that's what we're expecting on euro usd remember here uh, there's always a chance that we might uh, be getting a corrective structure here like this we can move down correctively like this and if we move down correctively that might mean something different but as of now this down move is expected either correctively or impulsively because you all know that this was a focus that move we focused it in our previous videos and we've already gotten completion of this structure and now we've already started getting this um, down move we're still expecting more down on euro usd so if you know how to trade this down move trade it if you know how to trade it and if you don't know how to trade it just uh, stay aside because it's wiser to ignore uh, every movement that you don't know how to trade to only trade what your entry strategy can give you entry on and ignore what your entry strategy is struggling to give you entries on this is gbp chf on gbp chf we're expecting this a bigger corrective structure here then price would continue up that's what we're expecting on gbp chf we're expecting a bigger correction um like this then price may continue up that's what we're expecting according to structure on gbp chf lastly we have euro 
GBP. Now for Euro GBP, you all know that we were expecting a, a big wave from here. Then we got an impulse move like this, and then we got a price moving like this. Then this uh, past week, we focused a down move here. We say that after we get this down move, we'll be looking for an entry to buy all the way up breaking this previous high now as you can see we haven't gotten this down move but if price decides to move up from here like this we'll be assessing structure and seeing how to adjust to that and look for entry because we're expecting an up move either from here or from here after breaking this previous low after breaking this previous low but uh, we're looking forward to being able to take the buy all the way up on euro gbp that's all we have for you for this week and uh, for more updates please stay um, hooked to our channel so that you are able to get most of this updates and most of this big movements uh, so see you next week